Boards worldwide face growing workloads on hot topics like post-COVID recovery, rising interest rates, and global uncertainty. But a much bigger demand with huge consequences is the boom in corporate disclosures requiring board oversight and approval. Environmental, social governance, diversity, financial regulations, cybersecurity, compensation, risk, regulatory matters. The list is multiplying even as I tell you this. And just taking a quick whatever vote on the approval won't do now. The rules today are so arcane and the penalties are so stiff that the board has to invest serious time and effort into vetting both the accuracy of the disclosure and the internal processes used to develop them. Corporate board work divides into two major spheres, I've found. There's the mentoring aspect, guiding management, coming up with good ideas, strategic insight, making connections. But then there's the monitoring part, the compliance, review, checking out the numbers and filings, ticking boxes. Now the latter busy work is definitely crowding out some of that high quality mentoring time, but we shouldn't just dismiss board disclosure oversight as a bureaucratic time suck. Yes, it distracts from the fun wisdom sharing that goes into being on a board, but it also requires digging in on a level that directors too often don't. Parsing every word of a disclosure statement may seem like scut work, but boards now must also examine the company's structures, procedures, and assumptions used in shaping that disclosure. You as a director are responsible for these as a fiduciary, and you can't sign off on the final statement until you know the quality of the mechanisms that went into shaping them. Assuring yourself on this demands building deeper knowledge of the company. And that's a good thing. I'm Rolf Ward from the boardroom for October.